year 1957, the United States military enlisted the use of carrier pigeons to deliver important messages in times of great duress. In the year 2020, the Rebel Podcasts have enlisted their own military pigeon to deliver his messages under these times of great duress. These are those messages, and this is the Pigeonhole. Hello, my name's the Pigeon. I'm going to talk about what pisses me off. Welcome to the Pigeonhole. So, usually with the Pigeonhole, I talk about Tweet of the Weeks, which the reason why I talk about Tweet of the Weeks is because Twitter is a cesspool of the most ridiculously stupid people on the planet. And I feel like a lot of people can agree with me, and if you don't agree with me on that, then you're probably one of those stupid people that are involved with Twitter. So, I have been sent a few tweets by members of the Styles Rebel Radio podcast or on the Styles Rebel Radio Discord, which you can find via Style and me if you contact me, or anybody in the podcast really. So, let me go over a brief description of some of these tweets. Some of them I will just be reacting to right on the spot, so this cannot be... <laughs> this, this might be a little rough. So, this one that starts was sent to me by Jules, and it's a good one. It says, boob is too funny, tit is too aggressive, breast is too formal. Um, see, uh, I don't think boob is too funny. I think boob is actually kind of weird as well. I think boobies is funny because it makes you sound like a little kid. You know, where you're like, eh, boobies and all that is true. Tit, yeah, it's aggressive, but it's just like a normal, I don't know, normal thing to say. I feel like people say tits more than boobs now. I know a lot of uh, women in their, like, 40s, for some reason, don't like saying tits. Um, I'm into MILFs. I mean, uh, I told uh, 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 but uh, you get the joke. Breast, it's too formal. Yeah, breast is, a, you know, a formal way of saying it. It's like, it's kind of like the same way if you say, uh... Like the male anatomy, you don't say like "show me your penis." <laughs> That's just it. Just makes it funny, you know. It's either you know dick or cock. I don't know. I find cock to be funny, but uh, that's a pretty good one. That's a good example. Um, yeah, the words. It really does depend on how funny you're trying to be. I feel like that's the main, <laughs> the main determining factor of when to use those words is. Uh, comedy <laughs> which it shouldn't be so the next one was set to be my style and uh, this is posted by a dude which was a looks like to be a comment on a tiktok which I think he sent me this it was on a Chris Jericho it was, it was on some wrestler I think it was Chris Jericho's tiktok or it was a tiktok of Chris Jericho and it says, you're built like a mustard packet nowadays, old man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that, that just doesn't need an explanation. <laughs> so, the next one I found. And uh, this one uh, was retweeted by this girl that I knew from high school who blocked me from all social media platforms except for Twitter for some reason. Oh, wait, no, her sister did. Because, uh, she thought that I was a huge Trump supporter, but I really just wore the hat to piss people off. Yeah, I know, I'm a dick. I was a dick in high school because of that. <laughs> Do I care anymore? Not that much, no. So don't, f don't have an aneurysm. Alright. So, this one was tweeted by one of those, one of these girls. And it says... Getting iced coffee is definitely a part of my self-care routine. Who cares? <laughs> it's like, honestly. It's like, okay, Annabelle, who, who cares? We know that you have iced coffee. We hear you shake it around every morning when you go to work, when you go to school, college, whatever you go to. You literally spend more money on that than you do your actual electric bill. Like... If you don't, no, you don't even, probably don't even have an electric bill. I don't even know. Probably just use daddy's money for that. But, uh, it's, it's just, it's ridiculous. I can't stand 
people that uh that just give you information that you don't need to know about their life it's like yo i ate chinese food with a fork today cool like no like okay and oh that's it yeah all right 16.5 k likes I feel like as a white girl, it is so easy to get so many likes on Twitter. You just have to post something that is... That's not even funny. That's not even quirky. I know I probably sound like an old fucking man right now. And there are probably girls that are just like... That is so me. I honestly feel that so hard. And it's just like, okay. Yeah. 4,000 retweets. 16.5k likes I, it's so easy i'm telling you dude a lot of people disagree with me women live on easy mode <laughs> when it comes to social media so next one was sent to me by style this one i haven't seen before so um this one seems to be reacting to a washington post article and it says the article says to understand trump's support we must think in terms of multiracial whiteness Oh boy, here we go. And uh, this person replies with, As a white person of color, I'm extremely worried about the rise of black whiteness. What the hell is black whiteness? That can't be real. Is um, multiracial whiteness? To understand Trump's support? What is multiracial whiteness? I actually have no idea what they're trying to convey with that. Okay. And this one was also... These most recent ones were also sent to me by style, so... Here's this one. Oh, boy. This... I feel like this isn't serious. Alright. Santa is a symbol of white patriarchy. He enters the home in uh, parentheses womb via the chimney vaginal canal canal, not vaginal candle, god damn it, <laughs> to deposit his gifts, sperm. Santa is a rapist. Christmas is violence. This, I feel like this can't be real. I feel like this has to be a joke. But again, the t this tweet and the one I read before it about multiracial whiteness was retweeted or commented by the same woman. And it, underneath all of that, it says, Happy Kwanzaa. That I doubt she even knows what Kwanzaa is. Do I? Really? No. I celebrate Christmas. I don't really need to know what Kwanzaa is. I'm sorry. I don't know a whole bunch about uh, Hanukkah. Are you going to read me for it? Probably. I don't care. I just celebrate Christmas. Um, but, again, like, Santa is a symbol of white patriarchy. You know, there's a whole bunch of people that believe in Black Santa, right? Like, it de kind of depends on the household and where people live and where they grow up. Like, there's people who believe in Mexican Santas because they're Mexican parents. And they, I don't know, they're teaching their little kids about Santa. And maybe those kids have never actually seen a white person before, or a black person before. Because where they live is so populated by Mexicans. You know some things to think about it's not like a race thing or like whatever it's just gotta think of it logically like that i don't know people are just crazy i feel like this woman's joking with us though <laughs> why did i get oh my gosh style sent me this uh tweet by jake who is also on the rebel podcast or it's a facebook post I says, I'll probably just be posting to at Styles Rebel Radio or Jake Ster Schrader if anyone cares. And it had two, three likes, two or three likes with one share. So I don't know what to say to that. So that's its own thing. But on another thing, here's something that I have greatly noticed. And I know that there's a lot of people that know about this. If anybody is a Mandalorian fan, they will know about this. That there is a uh, there's a woman that is on that show who was a professional MMA fighter, and she was an actress, and she was I don't know I thought she was really good in the show. Uh, her name is Gina 
Carano, Carano, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but she has been going through so much hate recently because just because of the way that she thinks, which honestly is really like really crazy. People wanted to get her fired from the show because she had her own opinion about I think it was pronouns and trans and like transgenders or something like that. And I think she I don't know if she was a Trump supporter or not. I don't think she ever even said that she was. I think they just automatically assumed she was. But she has been posting things recently that have had nothing to do with anything political, really. Um, like, the one that she just threw up, uh, I think it was tw uh, yesterday, so it says, Mother Nature just be throwing out temperatures like Powerball numbers. And it's like 66, 40, 33, 58. You know, it's like a, it's, it's one of those jokes. It's like, ha the weather's going crazy, ha And let me see if I can find some of these comments right now. And the first one I see is Cara Dune is a butch lesbian, and I'm sick of you denying the facts. Cara Dune is the character in The Mandalorian that she plays, by the way. So, other people are saying it's climate change, a leftist conspiracy. Um, and the 300,000 dead Americans is a funny number too, right? Lol. I think she, that's what it is. She has been um, kind of like anti-masking a little bit on Twitter, which a lot of people do. A lot of people will anti-mask on Twitter. It's a normal thing. People get pissed from what the government tells them to do. It's a normal thought process. Um, but there are so many people on Twitter that I feel like are just brainwashed into the fact that if you don't wear your mask, you actually want people to die. Like, that post had nothing to do with COVID at all. She didn't even bring up deaths. She didn't even bring up, like anything related to sickness she just said wow the temperatures are going crazy and this one crazy son of a bitch it's not just one there's a whole bunch of them that are just so brainwashed by the media and just so brainwashed by this stupid fucking word i hate hearing the word covid it's been over i'm not saying overused it's you know it's a virus that goes around but it's just been said way too much on everything it's on the news, and um, there are, like, bigger things on the news to be addressed than this virus. Like, yeah, it's affecting a lot of things, it, but it seems like every week you'll see on the news, hey, new strand of COVID came out in Britain, new strand of COVID in Italy, new strand in this, blah, blah, blah. It's like, it's, uh, it, it's, I don't know. I feel like the media is just milking the shit out of it. And everybody knows that. And I feel like everybody's tired of hearing it. And everybody's tired of speaking about it. But there are just some people that are... Not some. There's a lot of people that are just so brainwashed by the media that that's all they think about now. It's like, holy shit. Shut up. Like, oh my god. But I have... Moral of the story for me. Um, if you're gonna tweet something and uh, you think it's stupid, no, actually, if you tweet something and you don't think it's stupid, don't tweet it. Because a lot of the tweets that are purposefully meant to be stupid usually are pretty funny. I don't know. Like that one about Santa being a white like, symbol of supremacy. That, that's a pretty funny read. But, I feel, I feel like she did that on purpose, too, but if you post something on Twitter and you actually think that you're serious and you're just gonna get liked because it's relatable, don't post it. It's not funny. No one fucking cares. Twitter's not meant to be like, a resource to be relatable. It's just any, it's like any other social media. I, I, I don't I sound like an old man, but...
that was the pigeonhole. My name is the Pidge, formerly Evan Sinarski. Again, you can find me at stylesweberradio.com. You can find me in the Discord. You can find me in the blogs. You could hear me in some of the commercials and the podcasts. And you could hear me in this segment of the pigeonhole. So, thank you and goodbye. This is the page. Send in your dumb, stupid, or funny tweets to Styles Over Radio Discord server and see them featured on the next episode. Mm-hmm.